steps as the race director and the flag is then dropped on these world championships as this final race the men's elite race gets underway and immediate attacks we've got 27.7 kilometers till we get down to Wollongong then we go out on the Mount Kira loop and now we are seeing the little group of riders starting to form at the front of the race so have just jumped away and heading across the line first is Simon Peo riding for Switzerland. The riders have already reached Wollongong. The news, if you've just joined us then, is that Matthew van der Poel is out of the World Championships. Unfortunately, we have heard, look at the crowds as we make our way onto Mount Kira. As the French are starting to rip this race up. Look at the tempo now, really turning the pressure on. Group of 30 riders, they are keeping the pace on. So there will be a huge gap between this select group of 30 and that peloton the camera was on just a second ago. So the French, they have split this up. They obviously have the right combination of riders in the front and they're happy to keep the pace high. Let's just take a look at this group. This is the group that we are thinking about now with the French really putting the pressure on and continuing to put the pressure on. Greens, we're getting a bit of an update of the situation of on the road and there's obviously the first group of riders on the road, the attackers, that 11 rider group. Nearly three minutes further behind is a big group, 59 riders and that's the group that we are on now. How exciting to see those five riders that are chasing this group come so close now through the finish line. They're only 17 seconds behind the early breakaway, which means Australia will have two riders at the front of the race. And now France start to up the tempo and see whether they can do a little bit of damage, making it very, very hard on this particular section. It's the race situation. We have a front group of eight now joined up with three riders so there's 11 riders again in the front group a group of 25 that we're looking at now oh, this is the counter attack, oh, the counter -attack with Renko Venepol the gap is now closing the gap closes it's Quinton Hermans who's just done the damage there and now looking at the front of the race it looks like it's Renko Venepol who is accelerating over the top of Mount Pleasant he is pushing the pace here now Big attack as we make our way towards the two, two laps of racing to go. And it's Remco Evenepoel who's decided to up the tempo and see whether he can split this group. A massive attack from the Belgian. And this might be a full commitment from Evenepoel and Lutsenko, both very keen to stay away. They're establishing their gap now. It's full commitment. You just see that transformation. Lutsenko losing the wheel now of Evenepoel. Is this the winning move for Belgium? They've ridden a fantastic race until this point. And then a pull, he goes clear. The Belgian wonder kit. The hopes of the nation have been on his shoulders. He's already delivered a grand tour this year. He's been waiting for this moment to really, you could see on that climb, the power that was going through the pedals. He looks comfortable, he looks fast. He's just got to keep this on, keep the tempo. He's almost there. It has been a triumphant day. This rider has demolished the field. He rides 25 kilometers solo in this World Championship. This season, he wins a monument. He wins a Grand Tour. And now he adds the rainbow bands as the world champion. 10 years after Philip Gilbert. Look at the ecstasy on the face of Remco Emenepol. The Belgian wonder kid is the world champion, a monument, a grand tour, and now the Rainbow Bands. Well, what a celebration as he crossed the finish line. You cannot believe what he's just achieved. Trapnik being chased down by Christophe Laporte. Is it going to be Laporte? Is it going to be Wout Van Aert? On the line, it is Michael Matthews, Laporte and Matthews. Laporte takes the silver. Matthews takes the bronze for Australia. Remco Evenepoel! No doubt about the winner, Remco Evenepoel is the world champion.